Hiya, my name is uh, James Oliver and I thought I'd do a little video introduction to my YouTube channel and show you my guitar collection. Uh, I love guitars in general, I got a few of them, and especially Telecasters. So I thought we'd start the day with my Telecaster guitar collection and i tell you a bit about the guitars and where I got them from and if I modded them and what I like about them, what I don't like about them and all that. So first of all... I thought I'd do a bit of an introduction. My name is James. I'm uh, 27 from uh, Blackwood in South Wales. And I play guitar professionally in a band called the James Oliver Band. Uh, we play rock and roll, rockabilly, blues, twang. I got a new record out called Twang. And it's all twangy guitar sort of stuff. So most of my clips are like 40, 50, 60 second clips of my favourite guitar solos and intros. And there's also clips of the band on there and... That, that sort of thing, really, all twangy guitar related stuff. So if twangy guitar related stuff is your thing, this is the place to be. So I think I'll get down to talking about the Telecasters. I have got quite a few of them. And uh, people often say to me, why have we got so many Telecasters, James? And I say, well, the Picasso have one colour paint. So here we go, we'll uh, we'll delve right in. And I, and, I, and, I, and I think we'll talk about uh, a Squire first. This is a limited edition... Uh, Squire Esquire. It's a classic vibe series guitar. And it's uh, made in China. And for the money, it is absolutely fantastic. I've always liked the simplicity of an Esquire. And as a guitar player, I tend to only use the uh, bridge pickup anyway. So as soon as I seen these limited edition black guards, I just had to have one. And it's featured in quite a lot of videos. I even done a demo video of this. And uh, this is my Squire classic vibe black guard. Esquire, and I recommend all the Classic Vibe series. If you ever are in the market for a cheap Telecaster, these are the ones to get. This was £286 brand new. I don't know, that's about $330, I suppose. And it's a fantastic guitar. Absolutely love it. And you can get that Luther Perkins sound and that uh, Peter Anderson, Dwight Yoakam sort of sound. And it's just a real good twangy machine, and I really like this guitar. So I often get questions about my favourite guitar players and there's lots and lots of them. Well, Richard Thompson and Red Volkart, Bill Kirchin, Danny Garten, Wilco Johnson, Johnny Guitar Watson, Hubert Sumlin, Elmo James. There's just so, so, so many. You know, I just, I, if I named them all now, I'd forget some. Rory Gallagher, there's, you know, 100 Muddy Waters, everybody, you know. I just like all sorts of, you know, Junior Brown, Junior Watson. But one of my favourite guitar players is a guitar player called Mick Green. Which which leads me to a bit of my obsession with uh, Fender Telecaster Customs. And now, originally, when I was about 18, I wanted a Telecaster Custom. And I walked into a shop in Cardiff, which is now shut, called Cranes. And I ended up buying this. This is a 1974 Telecaster Deluxe. And it's all original. It's a little bit tatty, but it's a 74 Telecaster Deluxe. Which uh, I used to gig in in various bands, but I don't anymore. I find the neck is way too slim for me personally. But I really do like the sound of these wide range humbuckers, especially in that middle position, the two together. That's my favourite sound on one of these guitars. But this is an original 70s one. The tuners have been changed, but overall, you know, it's a nice guitar. And this was sort of my Mick Green guitar, even though he played a custom. I wanted him. I wanted a custom, as I say, because he played one. But this is a deluxe, so I have had this probably the longest out of all my new and used and vintage and second-hand guitars. This is a guitar I've had the longest. I've had this guitar for nine years, and I still play from time to time. There's a there's a video on my channel of me playing uh, the Jimmy Bryan tune, Night Rider. And the next guitar is this. I call this the guitar that changed my life, sort of. It's a Fender Vintera Telecaster Custom. There's a few different things about this guitar and there's a little bit of a story behind it. I bought this brand new off the off the peg in a shop in Abba called the Practice Pad. For many years I played a Fiesta Red Fender Stratocaster. Fiesta Red's my favourite colour guitar. And I seen this and thought, wow, Telecaster Custom, Mick Green, Fiesta Red like my strats, fantastic. So I bought the guitar. And around about the time I bought this guitar was when I started doing little YouTube clips. If you go way back on the channel, there's a couple of demos of this. 
But I was playing somewhere and somebody filmed me playing it. I was just playing some Chuck Berry sort of rock and roll, something I tend to do a lot. And that I shared the video onto Facebook. And all of a sudden, the video had 130 views and Fender shared the video. And they offered me a Fender artist deal. Which was really exciting for me because I'm a sworn Fender man. I love I love Gibsons and Gretches and all the makes, but I'm a Fender man through and through. So then that was it. So I put this has just become my main guitar, and it still is my main guitar. I done maybe 250 shows with it last year. There's a couple of things I've changed. As you can see, you've got the, the hat knobs. I've put a a standard telecaster knob so I can do the I can do quicker volume swells. There's a Sun Studio sticker on it. I'm a big fan of Johnny Cash, and I went to see Bob Wooten once, Johnny Cash's uh, second guitar player after Lufa Perkins, and he had a sun sticker on his Telecaster, so that's why that's on there. And on the back, there's a Dr. Feelgood sticker from when we support the Dr. Feelgood, and on the back of the headstock is signed by Greg Cock. Now, Greg is an incredible player. He's on another planet, and we got a gig with him in Brecon. So this is probably the guitar that sort of changed my life in a roundabout way. I would never have dreamed of... The Fender stuff, unless I had this guitar. So I was gigging this, and I always take two guitars in the gig as a spare. And then this, this, this come along. It's a bog standard Mexican classic player Fender Telecaster. It's a bit dinged up, and this was a bargain on uh, Facebook Marketplace for two hundred pound. And I thought, great, this is the ideal spare for the Vintera. So I started taking the two customs on the road. They do sound slightly different, but I like the I like the pickups in the Vintero, but I like the pickup in the classic series guitars as well. So they are the two Telecaster customs. And I've been gigging them and playing them and I thought, right, I need an original one to get just so I can have my Mick Green fix. And here it is, it's a 1976 Telecaster custom. This one is all original bar this pickup. This has got a Planet Tone pickup in there. Planet Tone are, are based out in, uh, I think it's California, but I'm not sure. Jose's a great guy, they're great pickups. But when, they, when I bought this guitar from eBay, the uh, original pickup was microphonic. And, I, and I'm waiting to get it wax dipped after all this. But this this, this guitar, even though I love, the, I love the look and the sound of it, doesn't play very well. I don't like the wideness of the neck, and I don't like the brass nut. Really don't like the brass nut. But I just still call this my Mick Green guitar because I'm, you know, I'm such a fan of the Pirates, and I sort of base my band on that I energy R and B rock and roll sort of thing. And love this. I still love the guitar. And uh, yeah, so this, this is another one. I used I used to play it, but because of because of the the way the neck feels and stuff, I don't really gig it anymore. But that might change when we start back. Because if again it features on quite a few of the of the uh, Mick Green videos on the channel. And up next, one of my favourite guitars. This is a Fender Custom Shop by uh, Danny Garton Telecaster. Absolutely fantastic guitar with the Joe Barden pickups. My favourite sounding pickups. Absolutely love the Joe Bardens on this guitar. Hot and fiery in, in, in the bridge, you know, cut your head off, Telecaster twang. In the middle, you can get that sort of gretchy sort of sound. There's some videos on the channel of me doing some Buddy Ollie stuff in the middle position. Fantastic. And the bluesy sound. Yeah, this is one of my all-time favourite guitars. And I love the I, I love the diamond inlays. You can see them in the dark when you play in. And uh, it's just a, it's just a, an amazing piece of kit. It's a quality piece of kit. I think Danny Gatton may be my all-time favourite guitar player this week. But next week it could be Jimmy Bryant or Albert Lee. You know, you just never know. But I just love this guitar. Absolutely love this guitar. And when I started listening to country music, and maybe... Because I was always a blue sort of rock and roll guitar player. When I started listening to country music, I really wanted a uh, B-Bender Telecaster. And uh, a friend of mine from Swansea, Gary Lewis, who's a fantastic player in Lufia, sold me this. It's a Fender Roadworn Telecaster. But it's got the... Uh, Gotta get this right. It is. It, it's got the. It's got the proper string bender in it. It's, this is a life's work. I mean, I'm not very good on this. Uh, I do enjoy the dabble in the house, but I would never take it out in the gigs. I just don't feel comfortable playing it live. 
But it's a great guitar. I mean, these road-worn things, you know, are brilliant. I mean, I, I like Mexican guitars, Japanese guitars, American guitars. I just think they're all good, you know. They've all got something about them. And and I love the neck on these road-worns and, and the way it feels, etc. But I'm just not confident enough myself with a with, with, with a with a with a B Bender guitar to, to, to gig it. You know what I mean? I mean, I love Clarence White and all that stuff. You know, Marty Stewart is fantastic with the, you know, with the, with the B-Bender, etc. And now I think I'll show quite a special guitar. This is a Telecaster, which is in loads of videos. I've done loads of gigs with this. This is made by a Cardiff Luffier called Dave Durnley. And these are the Taft Delta Telecasters. This is a sort of a 52, 53 black car guard, which sort of itches my Roy Buchanan sort of itch, you know, absolutely all made in Wales guitars. It's got Spencer's uh, Shed pickups, which again are, wor are worth checking out. And Dave just makes a killer Telecaster. And he's also a great guitar player. And uh, a friend of mine, Tim Harrington, owns three of these. And he can't get enough of them. Everybody that owns one, they just can't get enough of them. Because they're just great Telecasters, you know. They work those guitars. They look, feel and sound vintage. And just, you want to check out Dave doing these work, because it's just a... This is probably, I, I, I'm going to put it out there and say, if I had to pick one Telecaster to do a gig with, it would be this Telecaster. So that's quite a strong statement to make with all these here, but this this could be the one. I'll just zoom in so you can see the logo, Durnley Guitars. So that's the Dave Durnley. And now this one is just a bit of fun. I love the Pirates, Dr. Feelgood, all that pub rock stuff, Rock Pile, Dave Edmonds, etc. Here's a signature model, Wilco Johnson Telecaster. And I'm not going to lie, I never play, but I just have to have it because I like Wilco, basically. And I mean, I'm not a massive thing with signature guitars, you know. I mean, everybody gets inspired by a guitar player and they think, oh, I must have that guitar because whoever, I don't know. I'm trying to think. If Bill Kirchin got the, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's got the Telecaster with the uh, Don May pickups in, the one that's handmade, which I can't think of the name of. The Rick Kelly, that's it. If you buy a Rick Kelly Telecaster, you won't sound like Bill Kirchin because everybody's different. But it's just nice to have these things because I think, why not? And then probably the best and most ex guitar that will excite most of you in the collection is one of my most treasured possessions. And this is my old original 1963 Fender Telecaster. Here it is. This is a big favourite of mine, this uh, Telecaster. But they're all favourites. I love all the guitars. I can't lie. I mean, this is my Mike Bloomfield. You know, he played one like this with Bob Dylan. It's just a great... It's got that real mm to it, you know. Got a real crack. And you can get that lovely stinging muddy water slide sound. And I think there's a video back down the channel of me playing with the... Uh, Muddy Waters style Telecaster on this guitar. I mean, it's all original and I do gig it. I, I, like, I like gigging vintage guitars because what's the point in owning them? You know, if you can't use them, I just enjoy playing them. So basically that wraps up my uh, Telecaster collection. I would like a Paisley Telecaster and I'd also like an original 50s Blackguard Telecaster if anybody's selling one. Um, I've never done a talking video like this on YouTube before, so I hope you've enjoyed it. Please uh, like, share and subscribe. And uh, if you didn't like it, I won't do it again, and I'll just keep on doing my little 20-second twangs, as I call them. So thank you for watching, and uh, maybe I'll do another video like this next week. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Cheers.